Hey guys, so in today's video I will be showing you how to install a Valheim dedicated server and uh, how to add mods to it and then share it with your friends and your game client very easily with a few clicks. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing to do would be go to harhouse.com and then just press the download button. I will click on the installer and most likely you will see a black screen in my recording but it actually has an admin prompt so i will just click yes then next then install next finish all right and i will just double click the app uh then i got this introduction screen term screen and this is somewhat of an important step because usually game servers require for ports to be port forwarded so uh, the idea is that you can toggle this on or off so that your game does not get blocked. All right, and now we need to log in with Patreon and I will just press allow. Okay, and here we have uh, the interface and uh, let's go and install the Valheim game. So first I will press the create button and then select the game. I can type in here the game name and then just select uh, this image. Alright, so now that it's selected, I can customize the directory, but I will just leave it as default. Then I will change the version. So basically, I can select the live version or the public test. And the public test currently contains the call to Arms Volheim uh, release. Uh, when you select the branch, it basically autofills uh, the Steam beta name and uh, password. So I will just skip with the live version. And then you can also check to install after creating and then you press complete. Now the game will be installing and you can see a window here pop up. So I will have to wait for a while because my internet is quite slow and I will get to back to you when it's finished. Alright, so now Haru has finished the installation of Valheim. Let's go and add some mods. So the first thing I will do is go to auto config and then select the thunderstorm mod manager. And since I do not have a profile, I can either select to import from a URL and then select to auto sync, or I can create a new profile. So I will be just creating a new profile and then I will just name it to local. And here we see a, a term screen that is a bit buggy. So I will just, just change the resolution to full screen. And basically what this means that uh, Haruhas is basically providing the uh, the interface to interact with the Thunderstar API, but uh, the Thunderstar itself can have some third-party mods that uh, sh are, is up to the user's responsibility. So I will just press the accept. I will go back to the tablet resolution and then you can see it shows that thunderstar and in, it failed so basically it needs to first download all the available mods and then uh, optimize the database so it's fast to search up so every time uh, uh, you want to update a database you will have to re-download this and as you can see it downloaded 8561 packages all right, so now that this finished, we can already see that uh, the mods are here. We can disable the mods if we want uh, to run without mods the server. But right now it's enabled and I will just write AZ. And this is AZO Extended Player Inventory. So I will just press the install button. And uh, yeah, that's it. Basically install the mod. Uh, so all I'm gonna do is just press the start button and then if we scroll down we can see the logs and somewhere in here it should say BEP in X. Yeah, we can see so the mod loader loaded and that's awesome. Uh, now actually that's it, the server just loaded with mods and then we can just go and use one of the URLs to join the server. If you're not using the automatic uh, settings for firewall uh, make sure to check these press allow rules and then add mappings so 
if your router supports it will automatically port forward so now that we have successfully started our modded game server we also want to start the game modded so what we can do we can actually press the launch game button and it will install all the mods installed here so if i check this i clear this and press installed only i can see that uh, these two mods are installed and when i press this it will sync but the neat thing is that you actually can mod the games itself with harrow host so you can either press this button to add and import games manually and it will try to find the Valheim client or you can just uh, press add game manually select this and then just drag and drop the Valheim exe so for me I would press this go to manage then browse local files and just drag and drop this and it says it was imported so I can just close this and you can see it so now we want to launch it modded and uh, the idea is that uh, we could just simply press this button to launch and we can select a profile either vanilla or local but what if you have a friend that you want to share the profile with so to do that you simply would just press the edit button here and then check this to share the profile locally to get this url you can press the copy button to copy it or just press on the url itself and it will just show the version uh what community and all the packages to install okay so right now what we are gonna do we are gonna create a profile that is using this url to sh sh sync the mods so i will just copy the url then i will create a profile sync from url paste in the url and i will say imp import it. and then i will check this and press create profile and confirm and now we can see the local profile has two mods installed and the imported profile has zero mods installed and we can see that this has this flag of cloud sync and uh, it uses this url which is the same url as this so i will now just press to games press launch and select the imported profile and it will download the mods install them and launch so you can see the mods just launch it and if you go to the mod manager we can see that the imported profile had two mods installed and if we check which mods were installed it's this one and this one so uh, since our game server is already running i will just go here uh, copy this url then do start game start join game add server and then press connect now i'm required to enter a password so i will just copy this password go back to the game paste in the password press enter and now if i press the top button i can see this interface that is available from the mod itself this is not in vanilla so i will just quit the game um now your game will always launch as uh with the mods what you can do is when you press the launch you can just select vanilla and it will just launch it normally all right so the best part is actually that you don't even need to run the servers you can just install mods for your game and you can share with other people uh the mods mod profiles so they don't have to know which mods to download they can just use the shared url and it will be downloaded automatically so that's it thanks for watching uh i would really appreciate a like so i can reach more people
join me on the Discord. And uh, bye.